During Tuesday's town hall style presidential debate, one of the members of the audience had a question for the president about the rising cost of living. Mr. President, I voted for you in 2008. What have you done or accomplished to earn my vote in 2012? I'm not that optimistic as I was in 2012. Most things I need for everyday living are very expensive. No kidding. Well, he's not the only one, because according to a Fox News poll, 41% of Americans say that rising prices are the biggest economic problem that they face. They say that more than unemployment, taxes, even housing prices. Joining me now is the author of the book, The Real Crash, Peter Schiff. Peter, thank you for joining me today. Good to have you back. Great to be back. Peter, how did we get to the high gas prices? Obama says it's because the economy's doing so well. That seems almost as absurd as anything I've heard in the uh, entire campaign. Why do we have high gas prices? Well, well, first of all, I wish the president had actually answered that gentleman's question. He completely ignored that element of it. But, you know, in that poll, more than twice as many people were worried about inflation as all other federal taxes combined. But the truth is, inflation is a tax. The government right now is spending more than a trillion dollars every year that it collects in taxes. It gets that extra money from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve creates money out of thin air. It loans it to the government by buying bonds. The government then spends that newly created money into the economy, and that's what drives up prices. So the high cost of gasoline, the high cost of food is just another federal tax. So when the president is saying he's not raising taxes on the poor or the middle class, he's not telling the truth because inflation hits the poor and the middle class the hardest. How much is the president, any president, to blame? for the prices that we pay for gasoline, fuel, whatever it may be? Well, I think the Federal Reserve probably bears more of the responsibility, but you can't let the president or Congress off the hook because they are spending all the money. The reason the Federal Reserve is buying all these bonds is because the government is running these huge deficits. If the government was paying for all of its spending with other forms of taxes, then they wouldn't have to create inflation. But when the Federal Reserve prints money, it, it diminishes the value of that money because there's more of it. And pl prices respond by going up. So he is very much partially to blame. His policies driving this spending, driving these deficits, that's why the Fed is cranking up the presses. And you know what? Prices are going to get a lot higher, especially when the dollar starts to fall on foreign exchange markets because we've been catching a break because a lot of foreign central banks have been buying up all these dollars and keeping them from bidding up domestic prices. They've been bidding up bond prices, but eventually all that money is coming back. And if people think food prices and gas prices are high now, wait another year or two because they're going to be much, much higher. Cost of living, particularly for senior adults, is, is going to be a, a huge issue. Tell us how inflation affects our seniors, whether it's in the cost of living increase of their Social Security or, or just in their investments. Well, first of all, the government isn't being honest about inflation. According to the government, annual inflation is only about 1.5% a year. Now, that's not possible. How could 41% of the people polled by Fox News be so concerned about inflation if the government is right and prices aren't even going up? I think prices are rising much faster than the government admits. And so the Social Security increases, these COLAs, don't nearly keep, tr keep pace with inflation. The Federal Reserve's got interest rates at zero. If you've got money in the bank, not only are you getting nothing in the way of a return, but your, your money is losing value because prices are going up. So this is a huge tax on savers, on seniors, on people living on fixed incomes, and it hurts the most people who rely on those sources of income uh, to buy the things that they need because these basic necessities, the cost of, you know, the basic goods, food and energy, are the most sensitive to inflation. Very, very rich people don't spend as much of their income on, on food and energy, but sure, certainly poor people, the middle class, spend a higher percentage. And it's not just food and energy, education, health care, insurance. One of the reasons insurance rates are so high now is because the insurance companies can't get a decent return because the Fed's got interest rates so low. So they have to make up the difference by raising their premiums that they charge uh, their, the, the people who buy their products. Peter Schiff, thank you. It's always great to have you here. I appreciate it. Peter Schiff, the author of the book, The Real Crash, here on The Huckabee Show.